Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee with Eddie. Let's go inside and see who's waiting for us. Hey everyone, Eddie Campos here with Remax Preferred Associates. It's time for Coffee with Eddie, and my guest today is none other than John Mangus with Remax Preferred Associates, our broker owner, along with Kathy Kuyat, who could not be here today. And one of the things we get to talk about today is Remax Preferred Associates received the Outstanding Broker of the Year. This is an outstanding award. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, Eddie. And, and you know, you helped make that possible. So thank you for uh, all you do. You know. You know, build up the brand and uh, make us look good out in the marketplace. You know, it seems like, uh, you know, with the economy turning around, when you look back in history over the past seven years, eight years, and you think about where we are today, yeah. boy, sure, it doesn't necessarily make it easier. The problems are a little bit different. Yes. So, like, for example, one of the things that's happening now is interest rates. They went up. Yep. Now they're around 5, 4.3%. Exactly. Low force. Yeah. yeah. So... I'm assuming this has to do with the lack of sales because I noticed also that national sales are down probably because of lack of inventory, right? Yeah, you know, you mentioned inventory and really interest rates are no different than inventory. It's all supply and demand. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of the pundits were talking about interest rates by, you know, Q2 and Q3 of 2019 being in the fives. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, just the opposite has happened. You know, they were in the high fours you know, last year and, you know, and what's really happened is they've dropped rather than gone up. And even a year ago, uh, they were 4.8, but there were also discount points or at least a half discount point involved. So rates have contracted and it really goes back to supply and demand, uh, just like you're saying, whether it's for single family homes or mortgage money. So when I look at these kind of numbers, so I, I went back and reviewed some things. So median sales are up 5.5% nationwide. That's a very positive thing to be talking about these days. Uh, days on market, 63 days, that's down. That's up just a notch. But when I think back to where things were, not to regress again, but yeah. man, 2007, 2008, we were looking at numbers of inventory of being close to 9,000 yes. homes. We were getting contracts that were listing for what, like a year, yes. year and a half? In some Even cases. two, yeah, in some cases, but yes. Boy, it's amazing where we came from. You know, so, so let me um, jump on that with a little context maybe. You know, I'm a big believer that all real estate is local. So when I hear national numbers, I think that's great for trending because it's, you know, it's always good to know what's going on um, in the bigger picture of things. But really, you know, what matters to most consumers is what's going on you know, locally or on their block. I mean, really, really hyper local sometimes. Right. So that's where having a good agent that really studies the market, understands the nuances of each broker, or of each neighborhood, of each uh, really home, you know, how it all fits together. I mean, that's really, really empirical knowledge that you can't get from a portal or, you know, from some, you know, Google Quest. Uh, Correct. So yeah. when you look at the national numbers, it's like, okay, that's great, but what does that mean to me? Exactly. You know, exactly. here in Northwest Ohio. You know, and there are parts of the market, you know, which are which is always the case, but there are parts of the national market that are bound to be hotter and less hot than others. And, you know, certainly that takes some of that into account. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, does what's happening in Chicago or Phoenix or LA or Seattle matter that much to your block in Maumee, Ohio? Right. So going back to the macro picture, when we look back again, you know, those bigger cities, right. you know, in Florida, in Nevada, in New York, in California, looking at those um, in the rearview mirror, those did impact us locally. It just took a little while before it, yeah. it got to us. You know, it's always interesting. Our, our Midwestern, you know, Metro Toledo market is always a little bit slower to, you know, go into and come out of whatever trend is happening right. you know, across the country. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> well, that's going to be a good segue into the next episode, which is going to be focusing on the local market. Again, this is Eddie Compost with Remax Preferred Associates. This is Coffee with Eddie. We'll see you next week.